My parents got me like almost like an encyclopedia for kids. In seventh grade in middle school, we were in science class and we got to have our first lab. These uh, books that my mother gave me that were all about animals and geology and atmosphere and how things work. I remember always asking my parents a lot of questions uh, about things I saw or, you know, just questions I had in general. It's, it's one of the few things that I have a very specific memory about in elementary school dissecting a very, very tiny frog. Excited. Interested. Excited. Probably engaged. Excited. Excited. You know, coming from school where things came to me rather naturally, I, so I didn't need to work particularly hard, and then in university that changed rather quickly. So I guess I was kind of surprised that it is, in fact, even if you're passionate about something, it is quite hard work. Probably the uncertainty of the field. Um, so when you're exposed to science, it's a lot of big words and big jargon and very specialized topics and nobody really shares how you become a scientist. Um, trying to get into science and navigate science without any role models uh, really makes you feel like you're doing it blind. Uh, I realized very quickly that the standards and expectations for me were not the same as for others. Uh, I was uncertain, you know, how to navigate and it's honestly it's still something I have to be mindful of uh, every day. Yeah, I think that no one really told me how much pressure there would be in um, both education and eventually getting a career in academia. Um, so for me, one of the biggest obstacles that I had to kind of get through was maintaining healthy mental health. The biggest obstacle for me getting into science was really a lot of the gatekeepers that I had at very young defining moments in my life. So for example, my sixth grade math teacher said I wasn't good at math and would not advance me to the next math class. Um, she shared this with my parents and she, as well as another teacher later on in my life, told my parents that I shouldn't push myself too much. I should know my limits and I, I you know, really just should pretty much just kind of chill out on this whole science and math thing. So my suggestion to young women would be to keep exploring so find out what you're interested in what you're passionate about what makes you happy and um, be open because there are millions and millions of options that you can choose from and you can you can do anything you want to i would definitely say if you're interested in science if you feel like that would be a good fit for you i would encourage them to follow that um, interest the, the assumptions that people have about your intellectual capacity about your um, your ability to do something or whether you should even be allowed to do that thing. It is difficult to maintain your confidence sometimes and just to have a growth mindset. I would say just, just do it. You know, science is more than the topic that you study in school. Really, it's more about like, the method, the approach, the thinking, um, and it's gonna serve you across all disciplines. I would say to them that science may or may not become your career in the future, and that is totally fine. But if you have an interest in science, you sh certainly should follow that instinct because exploring science will provide you with a lens in which to view the world, in my opinion. Um, it helps you to understand everything around you, and it goes back to me asking my parents all those questions when I was a kid. Um, I think it's a valuable asset to understand science for any career or any path that life is going to take you on. Really follow your curiosity. Just keep asking questions, keep exploring, keep pushing yourself, and, and follow that curiosity. Let it guide you.